Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so recently I got an opportunity to interview at BCG Gamma for the data scientist role and in this video I am going to show and share the questions asked to me in the interview. So after the initial phone call with the recruiter, the second round of this process is basically an online technical challenge where they basically test your Python as well as machine learning knowledge and only if you clear this round you proceed to next rounds where you are basically meeting with a person and going through technical case interviews so this round is very very important uh, also before moving forward i have shared similar content from my amazon whole foods tiktok expedia etc data science interviews and you can watch them all to get you, you know a good idea about the other kind of questions that are asked in real data science interview interviews uh, i have put down the link in the description below so you guys can check it out okay so let's move forward so some general information about this test was uh, this technical challenge has four different sections and in total nine questions the the total time allowed was 120 minutes or basically two hours and you cannot you know uh, stop your test once you start it so two hours in one sitting right there were only two languages that were allowed in this python and r right there was no third language that you can use to do these these questions and it was performed on hacker rank platform okay so let's move ahead and discuss the questions uh, section by section and then all like I will share the exact question the detail what was the question asked right and whether it was an MCQ whether you had to write on your own stuff whether you had to write functions etc everything right okay so the section one had five questions right uh, and for all those five sections basically uh, the data was given as follows right so basically there were two data sets were given customer data set and the order data set customer data set has data about the customers as the name suggests and order data set has data about orders placed by the customers now the customer data set has the following columns right so basically three different columns customer id birth date of the customer and the acquisition channel so similarly like customer id id of the customer date of birth of the customer and the marketing channel through which the customer was acquired right uh, the second data set order data set had following columns order id id of the order the date of the transaction which product was ordered what was the price of the product when it was ordered how much quantity of the product was ordered and which customer ordered the product right now based on this there were five different questions right so the first question was you know we were asked to write a function to calculate the relative difference between total sales in 2017 and 2018 so if you see this table right order data set so here we have transaction date so basically what you had to do was uh, for different years right so 2017 and 2018 you had to uh, calculate the total sales right and what would be the total sales price multiplied by quantity right so that is the total sales and then you had to you know uh, cal calculate two values for 2018 2017 and then this is the formula which was given uh it was given in the hacker rank platform as well uh that you know relative difference is basically sales in 2018 divided by sales in 2017 and you take this ratio and subtract one from it right so this was the first question that was asked the question number two was write a function to return the median age per acquisition channel right so if you see the acquisition channel right and birth date so for each of the acquisition channel an acquisition channel is a categorical variable right so for each of the acquisition channel what is the median age per like of this acquisition channel uh yeah and one another thing that was mentioned is for this function right so you had to write a function but this function should return a pandas data frame right so basically what uh, most of the people will be doing is grouping by uh, 
acquisition channel and then uh, you know you have to calculate the age and then you take the median etc uh, but you need to return a pandas data frame with two columns acquisition channel and median age uh, and also it was mentioned that this age you know before calculating the median you have to convert the age column into a integer type right so it shouldn't be float it should be integer and then you calculate the median okay so the third question on based on this was write a function to return the most popular product in terms of units sold among people born between 1990 and 2000 right so here it says the most popular product in terms of units sold right and people born between 1990 and 2000 so if you see here in this for this question we had to use both these tables right so you have to perform a join uh, so you know revise your concepts how we can perform joins in pandas data frame using python right because here if you see the birth date is in customers table but we had to see like for people who were born between 1990 and 2000 uh, what was their most popular product right so you had to uh, you know filter basically uh, your rows and then you have to do uh, like you then you need to proceed with the with this question right so most popular product in terms of units sold so for different products you have to you know group by products and calculate the sum of the quantity uh, and then you have to uh, you know uh, return the most frequent so where, wherever the quantity was maximum right okay so for question number uh, four and five because this section has addition uh, like in total five questions right so for question number four and five there was some additional data that was given right so the marketing department wants to send personalized promotions to targeted customers they want to know about customers who will generate the most amount of revenue for this you need to create a regression model that predicts demand for a given customer and year and the target variable was right so basically if you are creating a regression model and you are predicting something right so your your target variable needs to be something so in this case the target variable is revenue and since there is no column called revenue so you basically can get the revenue from multiplying the price and the quantity column and then you aggregate it at yearly level right now question number four was write a function which does the following right so basically we had to write one function in which all these four different parts needs to be done right so you don't need to write different functions remember that right only one function with four different things needs to be done in that case so the first thing was using both the data set the order data set and the customer data set create an aggregated table of revenues by year and customer id so basically for different years and customer id what is the revenue and revenue is price into quantity right price into quantity then once you do that in this uh, aggregated table you had to add three different features right you need to add for each of the customer the age of the customer previous year products so the number of distinct products bought by the customer in previous year and the third one was previous year spend so basically the revenue generated by the customer in previous year so basically what the this table so when once you uh, create this aggregated table right so for example year 2020 customer id one uh, revenue is let's say 500 dollars right now the fourth column would be age so let's say the customer's age was 34 then previous year products right so previous year products let's say the customer bought 10 different products in 2019 and in 2019 uh, he or she purchased about 1000 dollars of uh, you know products so that would be that entire aggregated table now right so you have three columns here now you add three different columns three more columns in this right then apart from this it was also asked you know to add at least two more features from my side which i can think of uh, uh, which will help to improve the model and you need to write comments here right because it was encouraged in this entire uh, task that you write your comments make sure the person who read this understands 
understands your logic right so add at least two more features you can add more but at least two more features and for this you know you see like they are trying to test like if you are understanding this table you are not just you know uh, you know import pandas as pd and doing stuff you need to think about it what other features apart from these will be helpful to you know improve the model and then once you have these additional features right so three from here three from here so six and let's say you added two more so you have eight features right and now using this you what you had to do was split the data into test and training sets right so you have year column so your test set would be all the orders in 2018 your train set would be orders from all other years right so excluding 2018 now what we had to do was we need to train the model on train set and predict the outcome on test set okay uh, then we need to calculate the root mean square error rmsc on the test set and that would be the final returning value of the function so you remember all this thing needs to be done in a function write a function which does the following thing so the final line of the function would be return this rmsc right so this was the fourth question then the fifth question was in the data provided right only quantity of sold products is present right because if you see this table the quantity is present right the quantity of the product okay but it, it's asking us what other important data or features are missing that can help you get closer to the real demand right so if you see this question is very much similar to this one so you see they are basically trying to test whether you are understanding the data set clearly whether you know you are going through the data set whether you are able to think what other features might be created or you know what we might need so in this they are trying to see whether you can create more features with the available features now in this you they are basically giving you a free hand you know to widen your imagination and just tell them okay if we had this data if we had let's say seasonality if we had like whatever you can think of then we would be able to you know get closer to the real demand and in this you had to write your answer in the space provider so there was a text box where you had to type in your answer right okay so this was section one with five different questions now comes section two which had two different questions for them or both the questions were based on the same data that was given okay and like this data was so there was a OLS regression summary, uh, like whenever you run a OLS regression, like and print the summary, you get basically R square, different variables, their coefficients, P values, etc, etc, right. So like you can Google uh, a regression summary coefficient, uh, regression summary, uh, and you can, you know, uh, easily see what different values are there. But so I remember uh, like the uh, it was for uh, again marketing so there were different uh, ways of doing marketing like TV radio website billboard etc uh, and there were different coefficients right so like uh, obviously these are not the exact values I'm just I have just written relative number because like obviously you cannot remember the exact 5927 or something like that right but it was something like that and the highest was for TV uh, like in the variables part and the constant was like four or five times of that right so I have written that so basically what I'm trying to say is they are trying to test are you able to read regression summary results or not so this was the variable coefficients and their p-values now question six was which variable is the most effective marketing channel right so out of this and just looking at this data right how can you uh, get to know which of these uh, different variable is the most effective marketing channel and it was a multiple choice question with only one answer correct similarly question seven was which of these is the least effective marketing channel right so here you need to see the coefficients you need to see the p-value the significance etc etc right uh, so you need to know how we can uh, read regression summary results okay then 
comes section 3 which had only one question and it is based on you know if you if you have learned about Bayes theorem right so it is somewhat in that regard so they are you know also trying to test your Bayes theorem knowledge as well right so this question was so this was the following information given to respect to the cancer disease right so it says one percent of the total population has it you built a binary classification model to predict if a person has cancer right and binary means zero or one right so one means the model predicts the person will have cancer and zero means the person will not have cancer right and basically zero means the model predicts the person will not have cancer right for people with cancer your model is correct 99 percent of the time for rest of the people your model is correct 95 percent of the time so the question based on this was let's say you run your model on a person and the model predicted one that is the person will have cancer right this is prediction by the model what is the probability that this person actually has cancer right very classic example of Bayes theorem right so you need to learn uh, Bayes theorem and how we can use this data to you know calculate the probability right again it was a multiple choice question with i think eight or nine different choices and out of which only one was correct right okay then comes to the last, last uh, section which was you know again one question let's suppose you have to develop a regression model right after gathering all the data and building all the features like basically you have you ended up one with one table that table has 10,000 rows or 10,000 records and 12,000 features. Now these numbers don't matter. Basically what they're trying to see if like you have a lot of features, right? And in comparison, not a lot of records. What will you do, right? So at this moment, the question was threefold, right? At this moment, what will be your next step? Then whatever you decide right let's say your next step is dimensionality reduction right so you write dimensionality reduction what are the different techniques available for your next step now dimensionality reduction is just the example that i am giving right so you might think that your next step is something else maybe eda or like whatever so what are the different techniques that are available for your next step so you write two or three or five like whatever you can think of and then you need to also explain the key differences between those techniques. And this was again a write your answer in the space provided kind of question. Okay, so if you see like the, it, it took time, right? So you have to think about stuff, you have to build models, you have to write functions, you have to, you know, examine the data sets, etc. Uh, so it took time. So you need to be fast, you need to be well versed, you need to have revised the pandas and basics of pandas. And if you see, they are not checking your, you know, advanced machine learning algorithm or deep learning stuff, etc. They're very basic questions. Like how do you get started with pandas? How do you do different, you know, feature manipulation, etc. How do you read summary results? Uh, how do you like do you know regression what different coefficients p values etc mean do you know Bayes theorem etc right so basically these were the very basic stuff that were being tested but you know like when i was doing it uh like two hours kind of it was tight but yeah if you know and you have uh, ample amount of practice you are able to uh, complete this in two hours that's not an issue so yeah, I hope uh, this video was useful and you guys got a real glimpse into like what kind of questions are asked at like very big companies like BCG Gamma. Uh, let me know if this video was useful. Uh, you can put in your answer in the comment section as well. It would be helpful for me, for others as well to learn, right? Uh, and yeah, uh, again, uh, do check out the other videos of you know amazon uh, other basically other data science interviews which i have put in the link description and until then i will see you guys in the next video